little bit about the geology of the, of the rocks here. This, we're in a meteorite impact crater, of course, but what was the target rock that was hit? And the, the, we're sitting in a, uh, an area of Chukotka that is called the uh, Chukotka um, uh, Volcanic Belt here, the uh, Chukotka Hot Volcanic Belt. And these are essentially Cretaceous age volcanics, so they're 65 million to, say, 100 million years old volcanic complex. Uh, here, so if we look at uh, a lot of the various rocks here, they they come in a lot, variety of colors depending on the the um, iron content, the mineralogy, and so on. There's a um, uh, uh, quite a variety of rocks around here, but but w they're all of volcanic origin. Some of them are uh, are tuffs and flows of various kinds, um, and they come in. Uh, so there's also been some uh, hydrothermal alteration to some of these. Uh, various rocks around the basin, and so this is one of the reasons we're interested in the basin is that the it's it's not often that we find uh, the impact like this a large young impact crater in a volcanic host rock or target rock, and so the impact scientists are interested particularly in in the uh, the results or the what they can detect from what happens to these rocks when when they go through this process. Okay, one of the rocks that that uh, really gives us a lot of information about the about the crater itself, and particularly the age of the crater, are these uh, these impact we call impact rocks, but they're uh, particularly re completely remelted uh, volcanic rocks. So at the time of the impact, uh, when the ro the uh, meteorites coming in at um, at very very high speeds, it creates an intense explosion, which causes the rock some of the rock to be completely remelted. It, it, it completely remelts, and as it flies, it becomes quenched and falls back down as a volcanic glass. So, so these kinds of rocks, particularly these black ones, represent the completely remelted results of what's happened to these uh, host volcanic rocks. And it's from the completely remelted ejecta that we get the best age information about the timing of the impact. So while these rocks here that are not remelted date from 65 million or so years ago, this impact rock is remelted so that the argon-argon or the uh, isotopic uh, dating of this rock gives us the information about the age of the crater at about 3.58 million years ago. This is Tim Martin, 2009 Polar Trek teacher, talking with Dr. Julie Brigham-Gretty at Lake Elgigitkin in northeast Siberia.